seconds. Watch the arms pull back. Watch the main engine light up. Count to seven because things are being checked out. And then if everything is right, the booster is light, and off we go. So enjoy the liftoff, everybody. We'll be back after Arian has cleared the tower. Attention for the final descent. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité top. Allumage Vulcan. Allumage EAP, décollage. Beautiful. Coming roaring off the pad, Ariane 5 into the night sky, being followed by the naked eye. We'll probably be able to see booster separation. We might even be able to see farther. 180, that's 780 tons at liftoff, which the DDO is calling out everything is normal on board. Did you count to seven, by the way, everybody? Hope you did. The 780 tons are rapidly going to be shed by Ariane because she's burning right now at liftoff five tons per second. That's two and a half tons per second for each one of the boosters. Uh, this is a fuel, of course, plus another 300 kilos per second from the main stage. Yes, so boosters provide uh, most of the power, so 90% of the thrust to raise uh, the mass, so 780 tons of Ariane 5. She looks like a comet. Give, give, give us an explanation of the upper left hand, what we see on the screen, and the numbers at the uh, bottom left hand. Yes, yeah, so the curves you can see uh, show uh, the predicted trajectory profile, and you can see a moving dot uh, showing the current position of, of RN5. So everything is fine. Keep your eye on the flames. You can see one main point of light in the middle. That's the main engine. On each side, two other points of light. Those are the boosters. They're going to flame out in just a couple of seconds and you should be able to see them fall away that looks like it right there there's the boost out in just a couple of seconds and you should be able to see them fall away that looks like it right there there's the booster extinction and we'll hear the DDO calling out confirmation of that there it is separation, de separation of the two boosters the DDO has just called out for what concern uh, the numbers you can see on the bottom left. Yeah, you can just see, did, did you see the two points of light? There was the main engine on the left and the two boosters falling away. This is what it looks like up there. Uh, the camera is not on board tonight. It's from a previous launch. But there's another booster outside of the camera range. You can see them falling away there. Great shot. Right. I just say that f uh, watch uh, on the left, on the bottom left, you can see some numbers. So keep your eyes on your on the, the A, the A indicates the altitude, and the V, the V is the velocity. So tonight uh, we need uh, 9.46 kilometers per second to inject the two satellites into orbit. Ariane has four flight phases. Three of them are powered, and we're going to give you a little description of each of them. The first flight phase, which is over, which concerns the boosters and the core cryogenic stage. So we have lost uh, 60, 600 tons in three minutes. We have lost uh, 60, 600 tons in three minutes. From 780 tons at liftoff, we're down to 175 now. 600 tons gone in three minutes, you're right. This is the first one half of the fairing. The other half is on the other side out of camera range, which is another two and a half tons, which we don't need now because we're out of the atmosphere. You can see the top satellite, JCSAT-12, is exposed. The bell-shaped black structure underneath it is covering the lower passenger Optus. We're into the second powered flight phase now, which is the main engine burning alone. That's the uh, cryogenic stage. The DDO what? said uh, everything is normal. Everything about? normal. We're climbing and we're gaining speed, which is normal. Can you give us just a quick idea of the role of the lower stage? Yes, the EPC continues the flight, in fact. 
it is powered by the Vulcan 2 engine and uh, it fall down after in the ocean. Good. A film on Soyuz now, how the site was put together. The famous Russian Soyuz launcher is coming soon to French Guiana. Its massive new complex is taking shape in the heart of the Amazon forest. Work began in 2003. 100 and soon to French Guiana. Its massive new complex is taking shape in the heart of the Amazon forest. Work began in 2003. 120 hectares in all, the launch pad facilities include 20,000 square meters of building space, 86,000 square meters of roads. The surface is equal to 12 soccer fields. Construction teams had to dig a cone into the earth measuring 100,000 cubic meters. That is the size of 40 Olympic swimming pools. The site has created 400 new jobs and a dozen local firms are taking part in the effort. The assembly building will continue the method of integrating launchers horizontally, but Ariane Space has decided to integrate the satellites vertically, which is not done with Soyuz in Baikonur. To guarantee customers the high quality service they're used to, Ariane Space designed a completely new movable gantry. Soyuz is the world's most reliable launcher, with nearly 1,750 launches in 52 years. Its arrival early next year is eagerly awaited. Soyuz will launch mid-size class satellites with the heavy lift Ariane 5 and the light launcher Vega. It will complete the Ariane family. This family will be able to lift any mass into any orbit with the heavy lift Ariane 5 and the light launcher Vega. It will complete the Ariane family. This family will be able to lift any mass into any orbit anytime. Any mass, any orbit, any time. Soon a complete family of launchers will be operated by Ariane Space that will provide flexible, reliable launch solutions uh, through Ariane 5 for the GTO missions and Soyuz Vega for the other type of missions, scientific Earth observation, exploration. So now we are listening a recap of the satellite campaign by Thierry Villemar from Ariane Space. For 5190, the launcher will host two spacecraft. Satellite JCSAT 12 in the upper position, launched on behalf of our Japanese customer, Sky Perfect JSAT Corporation, and in the lower position, Optus D3, launched by our Australian customer, Optus. JCSAT 12 was built by Lockheed Martin and arrived in Guiana last July 18 on an Antonov aircraft. It was then transferred to the Space Center in Building S5. Electrical tests and attack specializing tests were conducted successfully. The spacecraft then proceeded.